Hello, I'm Jim Richards, and I've been sharing the gospel of Jesus since 1972. And I know one thing about God. God is love. And I understand that there's a lot of misunderstandings about God. I realize that I realize there's all kinds of scriptures that you can pull out and say this is what God is. And, but at the end of the day, God is love. And if we don't understand God from the perspective of love, then we just don't understand God. And I'm struggling right now because people I love, people I care about, people that are part of the family of God are completely and totally misrepresenting who God is to the world. After we have an earthquake like we had in Haiti, to have a leader of the Christian community go on national television and say that it is the judgment and the wrath of God is just beyond my comprehension. How a person could say that Katrina and all the devastation that happened there was the wrath of God being poured out because of particular sins that was going on in that, in that city. You see, the truth is, just because a preacher is angry doesn't mean that God's angry. Jesus came so that he could become the sins of the entire world and take the wrath of God that the world deserved. And when he hung on that cross, he became our sin. And everything that he went through from the cross to the throne was to make a full payment for all of our sins and for all the punishment that we deserve. And the Bible says this. It says this in the book of 1 John in the second chapter. It says that Jesus is the propitiation for our sins and not for our sins only, but for the sins of the entire world. That word propitiation is a very important and crucial word because the word propitiation means the satisfying of wrath. When Jesus became our sin and hung on that cross, he took all of the punishment that we deserve so that we would never have to be afraid of the wrath of God. And Jesus believed God and was raised up in righteousness. And he offers to us the free gift of righteousness so that we can qualify for all of the promises of God. And I find it beyond comprehension how people who believe on the Lord Jesus can totally ignore what was accomplished through his death, burial, and resurrection. You see, whenever the angels were singing to the... You remember the shepherds at, in the Christmas story and they were out in the fields and the angels, they broke forth and began to sing peace on earth and goodwill toward men. And we, we write that on our windows at Christmas and we sing the songs at Christmas. I want to tell you, that's not just a Christmas greeting. And that really wasn't talking about peace between men. It was talking about betw peace between God and man. You see, with the coming of Jesus... Since the fall of man in the Garden of Eden, this would be the very first time that there would be peace between God and man. Why? Because the wrath of God would be satisfied through the sacrifice of the Lord Jesus. And it's this message of wrath and anger that the Bible says causes people to blaspheme God and to hate God. You see, you can't please God without faith. And faith is trust. Faith is where, you, is where you're unwavering in your trust for God. But the problem is you can't trust someone that you're afraid of. And for 2,000 years, the church has denied and ignored the fact that Jesus satisfied the wrath of God and has tried to use fear to motivate people to live godly, to motivate people to follow God. But see, if following God is about trust, you're never really going to follow God from your heart if you don't trust him. And you'll never trust him if you're afraid that he's going to hurt you. You know, one translation says this. It says that if you're afraid, it's because you're afraid of what God will do to you. And if you're afraid of what God will do to you, it shows that you are not perfected or you don't believe in his perfect love. You know, I'm sad to say that most of my Christian family in the world isn't fully persuaded in the unconditional love of God. Most of my Christian family in the world, good, wonderful people, don't really believe that righteousness is a free gift that comes from the Lord Jesus. And when we receive it as a free gift, we receive the power that it brings to live a godly life. Many, many good people with very, very good intentions are saying some very, very unscriptural, 
very, very wrong things about Jesus to the world. I'm sure they mean well. I'm sure they have the very best of intentions. But the end result is just not working. The world has never heard the gospel of the Lord Jesus until they have heard the gospel of peace. Until they have heard that God has made peace between himself and man through the sacrifice of the Lord Jesus. They've not heard the gospel until they've heard about a God who loves them unconditionally and seeks only to have a meaningful relationship with them through the Lord Jesus. So I want to encourage you. If you've heard something that's made you angry at God, if you've heard something that's made you afraid, if somebody's told you that God has killed your loved ones or that God's bringing pain and suffering into your life to try to teach you something, or God's anything that anybody has tried to teach you that's made you believe that you can't trust God, I'm sorry to say it's not the truth. And I've got something I want to offer you. If you'll go to my website, impactministries.com, and you'll click on the tab that says free stuff, you can go to a section that says the four most important messages you'll ever hear, and I want to give those to you for free. And those messages are going to talk to you about how God made peace with the world through Jesus. They're going to talk about faith righteousness, the gift of righteousness. They're going to talk about the grace of God, God willing to make you able to live your dreams and able to be who you want to be. And I tell you, I believe there are four messages that will totally and completely change your life. But most of all, if you never download these messages, if you never go to my website, if you never, if you never check out one resource that I've got to try to help you, then I want you to know this. God is not the one bringing the pain into your life. God is the one that's calling out to you in your heart saying, I want to give you a great life. And even though things may be going wrong around you, and even though you may be facing hard times, I want to give you as much peace and as much life and as much joy in the midst of these hard times as is possible. And then I want to give you eternal life through the Lord Jesus Christ. God's for you. He's not against you. Never hurt you. Doesn't want to hurt you. Not going to hurt you. And you can come to know him now through the Lord Jesus. Check it out, impactministries.com. Go to the tab that says free stuff. And then click on the icon that says the four most important messages you'll ever hear.